Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupy Plays All the Games, this time with the GM48, helpful but harmful. The GM48 is a quarterly game jam. This was the 26th edition. Um, basically, game developers are challenged to use Game Maker to create a game in 48 hours that follows this theme. I'm playing all of the games that are under this jam for a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description so you can play them further. All my info will also be in the description so you can check me out on various social media platforms and if you like any of the content I make, consider supporting me on Patreon because that helps me focus more on game jams and more on smaller indie games. Alright, let's start. At the end I'll probably have an article of my favorites on BigBossBattle.com. Next. We're playing Card Ramino. Uh, it does, it's going through all of these instructions, but I don't... Alright, Conjuring is a card-based block puzzle game where your goal is to complete full horizontal lines by positioning the following pieces using cards. Cards will highlight green if they are able to use. Ah, uh, the card will change position in hand if on play, the higher level, the longer it takes. Okay, the game speeds up. Let's try it. Like, you're fine, you can just go down. We want to move you, like, one that way. Well, and rotate it probably. Kind of want. I should have went two left. Hmm. Kind of want to keep going left. I want to plug on to there. I'm no good at Tetris. Especially not this much Tetris. Kind of want you to go up against the wall there. Another one of these. Oh, I need to be exact. I just need you to go left, just one. Just one left. It's not gonna happen. Should have found a different way to play it. Sure. Didn't mean for that to go down so much. Yeah, you can go there. Right. Nope. I wanted that to be completely the other way. Awkward. This is a very challenging game. Next. We're playing Boxbot. I don't understand. Wait, wait. Alright, let's restart this. I feel like we need a box on top of the lava. Right, I got it. I got it. I think I understand. So you want like the first box to be there. Uh, I think we're good. I don't think we need another box. Okay. Ooh. Just sort of nudge that fire just ever so slightly. Hmm. It said you need to be on the box to summon the box after the first one. So does that mean we can only add boxes to that pile, or do we need to push boxes? Yeah, maybe we- oh. It still kind of crushed me. I'm a very fragile box summoning robot. My, oh, my jump wasn't good enough. Okay, oh, that still counts as crushing. I just can't touch my head. I've got the same head as a baby. You know how babies have very soft heads. Okay. Oh, alright. Next. We're playing Blood Gunner. Alright, WSD, shooting, dash, cool. Wave one. Okay, so. We can shoot, but it costs our health. It's like literally attached to me. Yep, uh, I should probably use my dash more, but I don't remember what key it is. It's so weird being like a stream of blood. Please give me more blood bags. Yay. Ah, oh, these break into little, little ones. Dash away off. Oh. Next. We're playing Quaffy's Last Swig. Quaffy's life is draining away. Defeat enemies to fill up Quaffy's potion meter. Once it's full, a potion will appear in Quaffy's inventory. Potions restore health, but they also have side effects. 
Press enter to begin. So Z to attack, X to throw a spear. Cool. Ooh. Let's kill you. Oh, okay, I figured if we threw our spear, I'd have to get a new one. So it makes like those. We're doing well. I think there's a lot of enemies. Drag, what does that mean? I'm liking these different like potions. Ghost. Ooh. Is ghost a good thing? Yeah, I feel like ghost is a bad thing. I feel like ghost hurt me. Aw, you died. This is quite fun though. I like the random potions. They restore health, they also have side effects. Yeah, so that makes sense. Next. We're playing the breakout. Oh, alright, so this does hurt me. We can kind of like pause where it's going. I don't know how to like master this. We've kind of got to hold it and then hope it doesn't come back and get me. But it's definitely getting me. Hey, come here, I'm breaking you out. This is definitely one of those times where like the weapon is something you ah oh, you need to get used to. Ugh. I need to move a bit faster, I think. Or slower maybe? I don't know. We kinda move in circles. It's not too bad, but then again sometimes it really is. Oh I'm gonna die. Darn it. <laughs> Next. We're playing You Have a Virus. You joined the chat. Robert joined. Hey, sir, madam. My name is Robert. What's yours? Jupiter. Very nice to meet you. Meet. Sorry. It's been a busy day. I'm a trusted security secure support officer working at Microsoft. I am contacting you because we have analyzed your Windows computer and it pains me to say this, but you have a virus. Oh, no. I'm going to help you with removing this virus on your computer, okay? It's going to be just fine. I'm going to the virus from your computer today. Okay. First of all, can you please confirm that you're able to type in this chat? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so first of all, do you, we already, what? Do you know the chat commands? Alright. Sure. Do not currently have permission. Oh. Internet, yeah, no, it looks like you do not have permission. Do you know if you're the admin of this computer? No. Hmm, the chat command should work. Hold on for a moment. I should have put yes. I think it meant for me to put yes, you know? I almost wish there was more of a delay before they replied, just because I'd be more, um, I don't know, normal. Help. Shrug. Open mouse. Okay. Fart. Now please type, ah, uh, join the chat. Stop what you're doing. Wait, who's this? Open MSDS. Stop typing in commands right now. Oh. Dude, this dude Robert, he's a scammer. He's not trying to help you, he's trying to harm you. Wait, no, that's a lie. <laughs> what? No, that's a lie. I know these guys. Why are you in Microsoft chat, white girl? White hat girl? White hat girl? They constantly harass people hoping to scam them and give them viruses and malware. I work for Microsoft. I'm a security support worker. I'm trustworthy. Believe me. I aim to see these fake support chats to help people like you. I mean, really, look at the window tidy bar. <laughs> Fair. Uh, Microsoft. LOL. Like rough. Yeah, that's fair. Come the fuck on. That's not what it seems. What a weird game. Next. We're playing Clock Tease 2 Unplugged. Oh, we'll do tutorial. Left and right to move. Okay. Mouse button for a burst of speed. Okay. We need speed. Tiny platforms, yep. Press down to drop through. Got it. Careful, don't hit spikes. I'm doing alright. Oh, yep, okay. Yep. We have a very limited amount of time. We got there, cool. Tutorial, can I do the next one? 
35. Why does it say... Th do I need to do it within 35 seconds? Uh. Yeah, it costs a lot of time to, like, just go fast. So why would you? Okay. 36, 35. Got it. 35 or 1. Does that mean we unlock it? Cool. Nope. Already off on the wrong foot. It's a very challenging platform just because of the time restrictions. Oh no, this isn't good. I mean, <laughs> need way more time for that. Next. We're playing GPS Dungeon Escape. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Two hours later. I feel like I'm in a dungeon. Weird. This is actually the last game mentioned in this gem. We've picked out a couple of favorites and we'll have an article out on them soon. The next GM48 is actually starting up um, this month. So it's worth taking a look at that. You have reached your destination. You have reached your destination. It is now the destination hour. Alright. I think we died. Right. So we're in a dungeon, we need to go faster. Yeah, you can run. I'm not at my destination, I also ran out of the running bit stamina. I'm getting really caught in these doors. For stamina. Just trying to power down so that we have more power for later. Oh no. I can't, I don't have any more stamina. Darn it. Alright. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Bye!